Alright guys, welcome back to Cal's Clips. Today we are watching a Jubilee video. It is called Six Sex Workers vs. One Secret Virgin. Now these are the sort of videos that I like to react to. Let's go. Everyone get naked. <laughs> what will that tell you about me? I guess who's more comfortable? What platforms do you guys use? I do porn on my OnlyFans. I do OnlyFans. Yeah, OnlyFans, just for fans, and I do in-person work as well. <sighs> Bro, OnlyFans has taken over. I actually don't use a platform, I'm just a stripper and a sugar baby. Oh, okay. <laughs> I feel like being a sugar baby is the best life ever. Assuming you don't have to have sex with anyone, but I feel like it always ends up becoming that, right? Just OnlyFans, yeah. I was a sugar baby for a brief period, but since the pandemic, OnlyFans was like popular, so I hopped on the wave. What's your guys' favorite part about sex the money. work? Money. <laughs> the only good part. I mean, I'm pretty promiscuous in my real life, so I feel like I'm just doing exactly what I would be doing I anyway. The creative yeah. side. I, feel like, I feel like I was sexual like in the past, but after like working in the sex industry, I've become less. I feel like yeah. your boundaries have to be so important. Even on OnlyFans, like even through online, like having that relationship that's what like- What do you do on your OnlyFans? Um, I used to do like girl, girl, She's not lying. She is not lying. Because I'm actually on my way out. I'm retiring this year because I'm getting married. No. Nothing. I mean, you can be married and do it. Yeah. The comment about like getting married kind of made no sense to me. So when I get married, I'm gonna still hold a f out. I wanted to think of like something only people like with an OnlyFans would know. Wait, what happens when you block someone? You can choose whether or not they still have access. No, when they're blocked, they're gone. Don't die. Uh oh. <laughs> as a sex worker. Yeah, the J guy, for me, mad quiet. I mean, look, if it's for me, I'm voting the J guy off for sure. Like, no questions asked. He just wasn't giving me a sex worker vibe. He also just stands like a virgin would stand. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I was, I mean, I was kind of surprised, but I guess I was pretty quiet. I didn't really say too much, so. Currently, I do like different like themes and stuff like that because I like to dress up. So this is a cow Ooh, okay. outfit, one of my favorites. And then I have these sequin shorts that I wear like to start off with, but they don't stay on for long. When he brought out the cow costume, I was Look. like, what is he? But then I also feel like bringing the cow costume, it's like a setup. Like if he knows he's going on the show and he's trying to convince people he is someone, then you would bring a costume or bring something physical just to make it seem more legit. So I brought my favorite pair of stripper heels. <laughs> I love wearing white heels at work because there's like the the blue lights and everything, so they just like glow Perfect. different. Yeah. Okay, I brought my trans erotica award. I was the best trans man performer. That makes sense. I have that too. <laughs> Let me just grab it up by the. Yo, wait, what? <laughs> but this is, is pretty. I don't know if this is kid friendly. Is it a massive deal though? It's a speculum. <laughs> I do a lot of like kink play. I kind of have like the OnlyFans like grab bag. This is like my browser's bag. This is a lube shooter. This is my first ever like, cause I'm Asian, la la la. <laughs> this is my first okay. ever like outfit that I like wore. This is a ring light, the necessities. This is a Pornhub slipper because you need to be cozy. And this is like, oh you know, like what I wear on a Saturday night for Rainer. fun. Yeah, yeah obvious. <laughs> I brought my birth control. Cause I was like, I'm obviously not a virgin. <laughs> she brought birth control and I was like, anybody could have- Yeah, you don't need to be having sex to be having that. That can help you with your periods, I think. I probably got that wrong and I'm gonna get hella comments like- The birth okay. control is like the one thing you can't be like- I took birth I control for my acne. <laughs> you could have menstrual issues. Now that I'm, yeah. I'm a that. doctor, oh, I have a speculum. True. Yeah, there's a lot of like health. <laughs> I didn't really think about that. <laughs> I don't know, for me, right? It could be the trans person in the middle. I was a homeless youth, and uh, that was pretty much the only way that I could make money enough to like support myself, and then obviously that was dangerous, and so, yeah, then I started to do it on OnlyFans, and then I got addicted to fast money. Yeah, I was kind of surrounded by other sex workers and was trying to start a freelance writing career that was not going very well. <laughs> So I was like, all right, I'm gonna try to make a little coin on the side. And then I started picking up some studio work and started making my own stuff. And yeah, that's how I got started. Okay. For me, no. Yeah, Terrell for me, potentially. Oh, this is close, a three-way tie. The tie is between Ashley, Ginny, and Terrell. You guys are gonna have 30 seconds, state your case. I'm point two on OnlyFans. 
I make over six figures. I do it only for the money. I hate men. I hate, I hate men. I could just imagine if it was the other way around. It would be nuts. I got started stripping when I was 19. I saw an ad on Instagram that they were looking for people and I was like, oh f yeah. And I had been a competitive dancer my whole life. So it was like, made sense to do it. And then I started working at a different club. And then at that club, I met my sugar daddy who I've had for like, almost four years now. Um, yeah, I started out when I was like, what? 21, I was actually working at a sex club in DC. Um, I was a receptionist and the guy would come all the time and he would ask me things like, when you can come in and sleep with me? And then I was just like, you got some money? Um, so I started with that, but I really do want to get the money so I can get my production company started and have a great gay sex show. Okay. I love you though. Okay. I do. Yeah, I, you. I just wanted to like go back to the previous conversation because we don't have a lot of um, representation as sex workers. I, so I try to stray away from saying things like fast money or easy money because Same. a lot of the times people yeah. will be like, oh, see, like they're just woke up and they it's just made money. They don't and it's like that really that hard. Yeah. It's like irritating when people are like, oh, I should just do an OnlyFans so I can make hella money too. Like, yeah, it's yeah. not that exactly. easy. <laughs> it's definitely a grind, but I think that it, it is different in a way that like, I don't know, I was able in my first month to make $25,000, which yeah. like is just yeah. like not a normal. I mean, it is fast money. It's not knocking like the grind. Like if you look at the top people, you know, they're hustling, they're, you know, th there's that element of promotion. And more important, they know how to like get their socials out there, build out like the profile, whatever, that's fine. But in terms of like, even just securing like enough to live on, like it's fast money. We do sacrifices and we put ourselves in compromising positions sometimes, and that's why we make a lot of money, especially because the social stigma makes it dangerous. Risk. Totally, like, thank you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So when did everyone lose their virginity? <laughs> okay, so I hope my mom isn't watching this. <laughs> but I was 13, and I was, oh. right? It was so young. Uh, I was dating this guy for a few months, and we decided to have sex. It was with a banana-flavored condom, like, in his, like, dirty bed, like, rush before. Was he also 13? It. He was also 13. She, okay. she got too many, she's either got too many details here, but, like, why, why is she got to remember the flavor? You know what I mean? I think virginity is actually a construct. I think that virginity was created by men who think that a penis can change the chemistry of a woman's body. But I lost my virginity at 16 and I had blood streaming. It's a oh, horror story. No. I wouldn't say I was like super religious growing up, but I kind of had like some reservations about penis and vagina sex for a while. Um, so in high school, I did the poop hole loophole, so I didn't go to hell. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. I thought that was a myth. People actually thought that was like a thing. I was gonna save myself until marriage. I can't even begin to imagine that now. <laughs> but um, I was. I think it might be Ginny, you know. She sort of stumbled when she was like, I couldn't imagine being it now. Like, oh shit. I have a question. <laughs> Is water a good lube? No. Water? I mean, spit? Okay. Like water-based lube, yes. Water-based lube, yeah. yes, just, please. I'm just yeah. looking water. for the virgin. Oh, oh, oh like yeah. shower sex? I've like oh, had so much awful sex in a jacuzzi. It's the That's worst. Like, it's, it's, yeah, yeah. it's giving UTI. Yeah, it's giving UTI. It's giving uncomfy. It's giving like, why is this so wet and dry at the same yeah. time? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. She was really timid. And again, with the OnlyFans thing, I heard Jehovah's Witness and my ears perked up. Oh wow, I just don't think it's her. So starting now, for every time you vote someone out who is not the mole, the total prize money is going to be reduced. Oh, okay. oh wait. Oh. What do your parents think? Um, my dad kind of, I have a really, really like weird relationship with both my parents. My mom doesn't know, but I feel like she knows. My dad doesn't know, but I feel like he knows. I live with my dad, so he's like probably wondering like why I have so much free time. And he's, is he way. Jehovah's Witness still? No, my dad no. was never, my mom was. Oh. And I used to live with her and then I moved out. Yeah, there's something about Ginny. All right, I think they're gonna vote Ginny out here, just be, not even because of this round. Possibility that maybe she was a virgin. Yeah. I was kind of listening to like the marker and I could hear that everyone wrote my name down. <laughs> that is tapped. Raise your hand if you think the mole is still in the box and you would like to continue the no, game. No, we can't keep going. I think they've definitely got to have, have them out. Yes! They got them. They got them. <laughs> Who is well, the it though? Revealed... If I was to guess, I do actually think it's one of the two on the right, the far right. Review. 
Yes! Oh. I got it right! Come on, let's go! Are you still gonna have a gay show? No, it was all yes. a lie. Oh, it was all a lie. It was all a lie. Like a Halloween costume. Yes. Yeah, it was a Halloween costume. I knew it. Yeah, it was a Halloween costume. Guys, if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, hit the bell. You know the drill. I'll see you guys next time. Later.